What's up, ballers? We are back, and obviously, Power Packs are back in the store today. We gotta go ahead and open some up. Make sure to drop a like down below if you guys are excited for the return of the Power Packs. I would say best packs in the game. Now, this week, it's a lot less likely, I would say, that you're gonna be able to make your coins back, considering a lot more of these players have been out, but you never know. Could pull something amazing, could end up pulling one of those 90s, Maybe even better. I don't know that I've seen anybody pull. Actually, hold up. I feel like I saw. I did. I'm pretty sure I saw somebody pull a 93 overall signature player. Now, I'm not positive on this. I think I got to go back in my Twitter. Uh, not my Twitter DMs, my Twitter notifications. But I'm pretty sure somebody. Yes, I retweeted it. Go to at Bobby Buckets YT and look at my retweet. Somebody pulled a 93 legend. Okay, now I really. I don't need to check it right now. I know that somebody pulled it, though, and it was like a double E as well. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Go check it out, guys. My link to my Twitter is down. I honestly didn't even plan that. I'm, like, just now remembering that I retweeted that earlier this week. But anyways, we're going to be opening up these packs. Also, make sure to subscribe to the squad. If you're new, opening these up, seeing if we can get anything good. I would love... Love, love, love to see some elites. Now, obviously, the odds of that are not incredibly high, but we know that it's possible, guys. If you watched my top 10 polls of the week last week, you saw there were but loads of 90 overalls pulled. I know that could be there today, and it's probably it's like, oh, maybe, maybe it'll happen. And right now, it's not looking like the odds are in our favor, but we still got eight more packs to go. And my other account should be unbanned, so maybe we'll have a massive pack opening on my other accounts later too, I don't know. Just let me know you guys' thoughts down below, and also make sure to comment your best pull. We haven't seen anything great yet. We do have one of those out-of-position players that was actually accidentally not released into the game. I can't remember who it was right now, but there were like five new out-of-position players that were supposed to be put in the game for a specific day during the Christmas program, and they just straight up forgot to put them in the game. So you can actually get those out of the power packs now. I know Porzingis at either point guard or shooting guard was one of them, but I actually haven't seen him yet, so maybe he just straight up did not get put in the game. But I know the rest of them did, so I might... I don't know. I don't know that any of them made for, like, really great lineups, so I don't think I was going to use any of them in particular for a video. But if there's any of those that you guys want to see in particular, I don't think... Yeah, like the highest overall is an 87. So it's not going to be mega fun gameplay or anything else. Oof! Let's go! We finally pull an elite over halfway through. We can click Capella. Could we get a double? Could we get a double? Dup, dup, no, oh, Kevin McHale. No double elite, but I'll take it. We get, and it's a current program player, so it's going to sell for even more. I'll have to check and see. I wonder when that program is going to be done. I'm trying to remember what day that that started on so we can figure out when we're going to be able to get the master. I'm probably not going to be able to afford the master because your boy's running low on coins right now. And I don't exactly have an option to buy them, so maybe, I, maybe I'll just have to start grinding for them. If y'all know of any good coin making methods, oh! We do get two elites, very old elite, one of the first in the game, Larry Bird from the Crossroads program, not bad. I don't know that he's going to sell for a whole lot, but I will take it, and I believe we've got, this might be our last pack, so we might have to no look, reveal all, come on, EA, give me something good, three, two, one, come on. Come on, 90 overall signature player. Oh, we don't get a 90 signature player, but we do get another elite. Reigning elites right now, Manu Ginobili. And I I can't remember if he can go into any of the sets. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think that he can. Oh, 10 elite players to get you a legendary wild card. It's kind of eh, but you know what? I'll probably end up using it in the future, so I'm not going to complain about it. So that'll probably go into place. I'm not getting any of the Ultimate Legends anytime soon because why would I want this Steve Nash when I've got 92 Steph Curry from the most recent program? Like, why would you make Steve Nash the very next one? Also, give us more lineups we can use. 
And then why would I want Vince Carter when I just got C.J. McCollum and I've already got Allen Iverson? And there's so many other good shooting guards. They really need to think through the cards that they're putting in the game and the way that they're doing it because nobody's going to want to buy this stuff right now because they've already got these players. And these aren't even higher overalls. You, like you would think it's a new program they're going to go higher overall. Nope, not even a 93. 92 is the max. And I'm not having any of it. So make sure to let me know down in the comments or on Twitter slash Instagram what you guys managed to pull out of these. We are going to be putting them in our top 10 polls of the week. So make sure to send in your submissions at BobbyBucketsYT for both Twitter and Instagram. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you drop a thumbs up down below. And hit the subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.